These are just a few of the creative minds from Stevens Institute of Technology that are on a mission to create a solar-powered house. It's a two-year project that, once completed, will be entered in the Solar Decathlon, an international competition hosted by the U.S. Department of Energy. The primary goal of the Solar Decathlon is to build a zero-energy house. So at the foundation of all of this research is, is a need to produce a house that requires zero energy. It's completely self-sustainable. This is the second time Stevens Institute has been invited to compete in the Solar Decathlon. Twenty schools from across the world take part in the competition. This was the home they helped to build last year. It was built with green materials and featured a water recycling system, efficient storage, and solar power. The new house will include similar energy-efficient systems, but it will also be built to adapt to the changing needs of homeowners as they grow older. We're looking to design an adaptable house so that Americans can essentially own the same house over time and the house is smart enough to adapt with the way you live and your needs. And that, that's really our objective this time around on top of being zero energy and affordable. The team also factors in the cost of energy efficient systems which can be expensive. The goal is for the homeowner to be able to recoup their investment within 10 years. If you could recoup your, recoup your investment in less than 10 years, then any period of time after that is, is you're, you're, you're getting the benefit of the reduced energy. So well, cost is a big part of this. It's not putting the most expensive systems in the house, it's putting the most efficient systems working together. This project is still in the early stages and students say there will be challenges along the way. Uh, we do prototype everything here uh, with some of the tools that we have. That way we can do our own uh, due diligence and make sure that what we're designing works. And, and if it doesn't work, we start the whole process over again. We're going to you know, design the house on the computer. We're going to move into you know, the more physical realm. Um, some of our parts are going to be prefabricated in, um, in terms of um, the students modeling it on the computer, sending it to um, you know, different machines that we have here on campus. The next phase of this project will be to put the prefabricated pieces of the home together. That will be done here along the Hudson River in the summer of 2013. Once it's complete, the team will do a series of tests on the home before sending it to California for the competition. Whether or not the team wins the competition, the plan is to showcase the home at a science center so the public can learn more about energy-efficient engineering. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Hoboken.